Hi friends, uh, today I would like to show you how to transfer the logins from on-premises environment to your Azure environment. So before going to show that demo, so I would like to show you how my environment has been set up. It's very simple environment as I have shown in my previous uh, video where I discussed about linked servers. So it's the same setup what I have. So I have two missions here, internal host, this is my domain controller and node one SQL is my Azure virtual machines. And when it comes to on-prem, I have one domain controller and one SQL machine that is node one SQL one. I think it is a node one slash INST one, AG one node one INST one, that is my uh, on-prem SQL mission. So I'll just show you the server name, just to show you that part, host name. It is AG1 node one. So that is the AG1 node one is the on-prem SQL what I have and node one SQL is the Azure virtual mission what I have, okay? So now I need to transfer the logins from the on-prem server to Azure environment. So let's try to create a login on Azure Active Directory first. Sorry, no, not on Azure Active Directory. So first I will try to create a login on on-prem. So Let's right click this and create a new user. And let's name this as on-prem. On-prem. So this is the login that I'm going to create on my on-premises server. I'm going to create a password. No need to change the password, so I'm done. So I just created a login on my on-prem server. So now let's connect. So I'm connecting, uh, if you see here, let me close off all the windows. And so this is my on-prem server, but before that I will first connect to my uh, Azure server, which is node one. I think it's node one SQL. So let's browse this, browse for more and select this node one SQL, yes. And I'm connecting with, and by the way, my on-prem server is part of contoso.com, whereas my Azure server is part of point to site.com. So those are two different domain guys. So let me connect first. Okay, so this is my Azure server. As you can see, there are no logins with the windows account so i don't have any accounts right now on my azure server so let's connect to my on-prem server which is part of contoso so it is ag1 node sorry ag1 node 1 slash inst1 and i will i'm going to connect with sql server authentication and sa is the account what i have let me connect now and there you go. So if you go to the security and if I drop down my logins, I've created two test logins, test and test 10 here on my on-prem server. And just now at the start of my demo, I created one more login. That login is part of, that login name is on-prem. So let's try to create that login. So I will run the command. So it's very simple command as you know, create login login name. So my login is part of Contoso, Contoso slash on-prem, the user what I just created uh, on-prem from Windows. So create login, login name from Windows. That is a command to create the login. So it got created. So let's refresh this. Logins refresh. And as you can see, Contoso slash on-prem is there. Okay, now let's create one SQL login to just to show you. So I'll name this as SQL 5 or SQL test. SQL test and let's create some password for it. And uncheck this. That's it. So we are done. So we got the logins created on my on-prem server. So let's try to move those logins from on-premises to Azure machine. So I'm just using the uh, well-known 
Microsoft script, which is SP help rev login. So I'm doing the same thing, SP help rev login. I'm running the script. So I, I got the required users. So I don't want uh, this MS policy and all. So I just need to pick the Windows logins. So this is the one. Uh, Contoso on-prem, Contoso test and Contoso 10. And then one SQL login what I created. So this is my source and I have to execute the output on the target server, which is Azure server in my case. So let's pull the, uh, I think SQL test is the login what I had. So let's pull that too. So these are the four logins that I'm going to create from on-premises to my Azure mission. Okay, so let's run this and let's see if I'm able to run those commands successfully or not. Boom, it got completed and let's refresh now and let's go to security. And as you can see, I'm able to see Contoso, Contoso test, everything is working fine. So let's try to connect with SQL account first, node one SQL and I created the SQL test and the password for it is what I've made use of. So I'm able to connect with my SQL account successfully. And if I want to connect with a uh, Windows account, will I be able to do it? Let's give it a try. There's no harm. So let's search for SQL Server, SQL Server Management Studio and right click this, run as different user. So this time I'm passing Contoso slash on-prem, Contoso slash on-prem and the password what I used to create that. And let's wait for it. And if I'm able to connect with Contoso slash on-prem to my Azure server, so it means my activity is done successfully. So let's wait for it and yeah so see uh, i'm now trying to connect to my azure server with my on premises account let's see there you go it's as simple as that so how it is working so because internally i've created the trust i've created the trust between the active directory domain in on prem and the active directory what i had in azure so i will show you the trust how, how I created the trust. So let me go and let me go to the domain controller. And as you can see, uh, I have opened the Active Directory domain and trust. And let me show you the trust, what I've created properties and go to a trust because if you can see, so point to site is my Azure Active Directory domain and contoso.com is my on-prem domain. So I added the trust between them. That's the reason you are able to uh, see the logins getting transferred successfully. If you don't establish this trust, it is not possible for you to transfer your accounts successfully. So that plays the vital role. The trust needs to be created. If you wanted to know how to create the trust between two different domains, please do watch out my video uh, where I configured always on availability groups between multiple domains. So I have created the trust between two domains. In that video, I showed you uh, how to create the trust between two virtual machines. Uh, which are part of Azure, but uh, this is something different. This I have created the trust between on-prem and Azure Active Directory, sorry, Azure uh, Directory, Azure Virtual Machines, what can I say? So um, so this is how I configured. So let's, uh, if, if you want, I will show you one more example where if I connect to Node1 SQL, and if I try to create a new login, and usually we'll create search button, and let's select the entire directory. And if I dropped on that, I could see point to site.com is appearing over here and contoso.com is also appearing over here, which means I can create the logins on whatever the domain I'm interested in. So that's how we need to configure the trust. And if you're more interested, as I said, you can watch out my video and I'm signing off today. Thank you guys.